This is Twit. I was out at Cisco Live just, uh, a, I feels like a couple of weeks ago, but I think it was actually a month ago. Um, and fantastic show. Big thing that was really being talked about a lot was Cisco DNA Center. Um, and for folks that don't know what DNA Center is, it's actually a really cool piece of technology that I figure it's definitely one of those pieces of tech that's going to have some legs. What it allows you to do is to dynamically change the configuration and operation of your network, either at a push of a button or you can schedule to have your network changed. Now, what, what this really means from a business side is imagine if you had a... Uh, a school system, a grade school that had during the day, you had students that would connect to their uh, educational servers. They would connect to uh, scholastic servers, but after hours, they rent the classroom out to let's say an AA meeting. And the AA meeting says we need internet connectivity. And yet you don't want them on the same network as the rest of your servers. And you're thinking, well, normally you just figure put them on an outside network, but actually you need to do some firewall changes because the AA meeting is going to look at uh, how the alcohol industry advertises. And so they're going to want to visit some websites to show that sort of stuff. Yet this is normally blocked at a grade school. So your network actually has to reconfigure for the different business need. And then in the morning, reconfigure back to the normal business need. Um, you know, other examples would be a stadium where at noon you have a football game going on, but at 8 p.m. you have a big, big, one of the biggest rock stars come in and that network has to change for the purpose of what is being presented in that stadium. So really neat technology as far as being able to just change the network almost at whim, which I, I think is going to support a lot of businesses where they say, gee, we need a different network and we need that different network almost overnight. They can make those sort of changes very dynamically. So Tim, this is sounding like just a relabeled software-defined network. Well, you know, did the presentations go into what makes it different? And why would an enterprise want this if your network, you think, doesn't change that often? Well, I, I think that's the thing that uh, at least I've learned from business is if you're in business, things change and they change faster than you're usually prepared for it. Um, yeah. There's many situations where... Uh, all of a sudden your business says, gee, we need to have uh, a different business unit operating here, or we're acquiring another company and that company needs to come into the fold and be operational within a couple of weeks, not a couple of months, but a couple of weeks. Um, being able to have a network that changes as fast as the business needs change is really something that I think they were very advanced in their thinking of how to do this. Now, you're right, you're questioning, is this SDN? I would say this is probably the most accurate uh, uh, representation of SDN that at least I believe I've seen. Uh, I think over the past years, we've seen a number of different companies say, hey, we're doing SDN and this is what we believe SDN is. And other companies say, oh, we think SDN is something different. I think this is the first time SDN has been properly defined of a network that will dynamically change to what the needs of the users and the business are as the needs change instead of just, well, we're going to change routing. It's, you know, what their, their, their DNA center does is it will change routing, it will change policies, it will change security, it will change access lists, it will change QoS. So effectively, being able to make any change to the network according to whatever schedule you want, uh, I see that as just, this is really what the industry has been asking for with SDN, and I think Cisco's really nailed it with that definition.